Sarah Face Meyer Lamb, pastor of Wayside United Methodist Church in Vienna, West Virginia, and pastor of Sand Hill United Methodist Church in Boaz, West Virginia. Hear these words from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The candle lighting liturgy is adapted from materials prepared for United Methodist Discipleship Ministries by the Reverend Dr. Derek Weber. We live on the brink every day we stand on the threshold between this world and the next one we live and move between the ordinary and divine between the mundane and the mystery too often we forget to look up and see the angels in our living room we forget that the love we give and live is a sign of eternity God with us right now. We forget that company is coming. Luke tells us that God's favor came to an ordinary girl. The messenger of God greeted her and said, The Lord is with you. What a gift and a promise. Emmanuel, God is with us. We light this candle with peace in our hearts for the promise and the nearness of God. Even when we forget to listen, to lean into that presence, God is as close as our own breath. This in a confused and a confusing world is a peace that passes all understanding. It is the peace that knows that company is coming. O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel. And now as we join our hearts, minds, and spirits in a time of prayer, 
I invite you to lift up to God your joys, your celebrations, your thanksgivings. I also invite you to lift up to God your hurts, your worries, your fears, your concerns for yourself, for your neighbor, for your family, for your friends, for your co-workers, for your brothers and sisters in Christ, for your community, for your, our country and our world. And let us Pray. Holy God, our Heavenly Father, we rejoice in this day. We rejoice not because of the circumstances of life, but we rejoice in you. We rejoice in your loving, faithful presence. We rejoice that whether we are going through good times or bad, you are indeed Emmanuel, God with us. In this season, as we hear again and as we ponder the message of the angel to Mary and how her Life was changed by her acceptance of that message. We pray that our lives would be changed as well. Just as Mary was your willing, obedient, humble servant, may we also be your willing, obedient, humble servants. Restore our energy, O oh God, and let your goodness flow through us, leading us to love and serve you and our neighbors in ways that please and glorify you. Lord, we bring before your throne of grace those who have a special need for your healing power and presence in their lives. Indeed, Lord, we all need your healing power and presence in our lives. We pray who all who feel empty, that they may discover the one who fills the soul with peace and hope. We pray for all who feel alone, that they may discover that you are with them, you are with us. We pray for all who are homeless, for all who hunger and thirst this day, that they may have justice and peace and food for body, mind, and spirit. We pray for all who mourn, that each one may be strengthened and comforted by your nearness, and the nearness and caring of family and friends and neighbors. We pray for all who are tired, who are weak, who are in pain, who are ill, we pray for all who need a healing of body, mind, or spirit, that renewed health and vitality would be theirs. Loving God, compassionate God, holy God, thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. We lift these prayers to you in the name of Christ Jesus, the babe of Bethlehem and the lamb who was slain, the one who is both our brother and our Lord. And we pray together 
as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>